here's the Sports Weekend Spotlight. What a great show! <laughs> you were ready to go, oh. I tell you. Oh my God, are you nervous? Um, a little bit, but I can hardly wait. I mean, it's really good to be nervous, isn't it? They're um, they're ready to go, and I. Who would you rather have as your horses than uh, than these two talented people? I feel that there's a lot of pressure on the Italians. They're overachieving as far I, as far as I can see, and uh, I think as they get closer to the big prize, they're going, "Holy crap! What's this all about?" Whereas I think our guys, uh, they've been here before. I think both of them are very good under uh, pressure, like you wouldn't believe. We've seen that a whole bunch of times this week. So uh, I can hardly wait to get started, except, of course, like everybody else, we're going on about three hours sleep because of all the games we've been watching. Uh, That's interesting. You think Italy's going to get tighter as, you know, now that they're getting ready for to be in the playoffs, whereas yeah. um, they seem so loose to me. They seem like yeah. they're just out there going through the motions with no pressure of an entire nation. Nobody in Italy is expecting this, let's face it. Does that help them a little bit? I don't think so. Not at this point. I think a couple of things happened. They're in, so it's not like they have to be laser focused or laser relaxed. Maybe they won't be focusing very well, make a few more mistakes. And also they have to be aware of where they're at. And they probably are looking in the mirror saying, oh, my God, you know, we're in the Olympic uh, uh, finals. We've got a shot at winning a medal. I, I think you can't get away from that thought, whereas for, for John and Rachel, they still have to get there, and they want to get there, and uh, they'll be they'll be ready to go. Uh, okay. Earl, who's who's all there? Who's all ready yeah. to get, get rocking on a, on a Sunday night? Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, wow. so we got a, yeah, we got a couple of uh, Johnny's uh, butts and uh, all the rest of the folks. And sorry, you got three or four friends here, as well as uh, his two sisters and their husbands and uh, some of our grandkids. So uh, we're ready to go. Oh, my God. That's such a great shot. Okay. Are there superstitions throughout Jesse, the game? Johnny. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesse, hey. Johnny, you say no. Johnny, no. Go. 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 Rachel, you say no. Rachel, go. Rachel, go. go. That's so nice. I'm just for for your family. I'm just looking out to see if they're here yet. Yeah, right, right in front of me there. There's uh, Rachel doing the leg kicks. I see and, that. Uh, John was just opening up those hips. Oh yeah. Well, th th then they're uh, they're ready to go. They're ready. That's awesome. Yeah. How proud are you of them? And um, oh. what advice, if you were coaching them, would you give? Well, I mean, when you've got such great athletes like that, I think your role is basically uh, be a cheerleader and stay out of the way. But if I was going to say something, if they said, Dad, give us some words of wisdom, I'd probably say some stuff like think clearly, pull together, and uh, believe in yourselves. It's, it's that simple. If they follow that kind of formula and uh, play like they normally do, uh, we're in good shape. And, of course... We need two here in a row because then, as Benny said, you get to the gold medal game. Hey, uh -huh. look at those great, cute grandkids. <laughs> this is I Emmett like and your Jack. Shirt. Yeah, wow. yeah. They're, nice. they're good athletes already and curling fans. And, uh, uh, and in fact, they're, they're, great <laughs> soccer, they're great soccer fans. So they weren't listening to what Steph had to say, but they would pretty uh, a year or two from now, that's for sure. Oh, well, and, we've and got the. Next and, generation and Earl, of Morris is coming up. <laughs> Earl, you were you were at your grandson's hockey game uh, right before this. How did that go? Well, where is he? Colton, come on over here. We were at his hockey game, and uh, it was a battle, but they lost uh, two to nothing. But uh, it was a great game. Awesome. He's a house leaguer and uh, really good at what he does. Nice, 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 nice. Well, so good that you joined us today. I hope you're. Uh, how were your nerves against, first off, that Czech Republic game that went down to the final second, and then following that, the Australian game? How were your nerves for the day? Um, unbelievable against uh, 
the uh, the checks because uh, we pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Uh, amazing. And uh, I think as Mike said, John made a great last shot in the last end and then Rachel finished it off to allow us to get the steal. And uh, if they have to do that today, that's fine. They'll do it again. I'm uh, uh, and, and, and in the, uh, the game against Australia, it was a funny game, obviously, because seven zip and then whoops, uh, eight eight, and a uh, lot of emotions in the game. But uh, we're staying the course, we believe, and I'm really, really confident they're gonna have a great game. And uh, you know, if they have a great game, then we'll let the winning take care of itself. Uh, that's outstanding, Earl. Can, can we have the uh, the house party and all of you guys on again if this thing keeps Say going? Goodbye. Absolutely. If this thing keeps going, we'll have another house party uh, for sure. <laughs> Give us an... Hey! Hey!